Hey guys, Scott Fishman here with Dominic Mysterio. Dom, just I feel like you found yourself in the last couple months specifically. I mean, when do you feel like the moment was that really clicked for you? I mean, you, you seem like to really be having fun with what you're doing right now. You know, uh, it's been a lot of fun uh, going out there and uh, having the the Judgment Day family with me. And uh, I think I don't, I can't even say it's still clicked for me. You know, it's uh, I, I'm still going out there having a lot of fun, and uh, I'm still learning every day and every time I'm out there. So uh, I think things are slowly but surely starting to click. Talk about the bond that you guys shared together. I mean, at first, when Judgment Day came out and then Edge uh, was no longer part of the group, there was a question of what the future would look like. And then you really have added another dimension to it, your bond with Rhea, of course, also. So talk a little bit about what kind of how that you guys found each other and just what went on to kind of grow and evolve what you guys are doing on screen. Honestly, uh, I have no idea how it came about. It was all kind of just organically happened. And um, we somehow make it work you know I've, I've been saying this all day we're a melting pot that's just you have a, a Australian you have a Mexican a Irishman and a Puerto Rican and we just all make it work you know and it's uh, it's really fun going out there and uh, like you said when Edge left there felt like there was this void in the judgment day and I didn't know I could fill but you know it's just been a lot of fun and, and it's been a pleasure to be a part of the group and of course, you know, during the holidays, it seems like, you know, some, we saw on social media, I thought it was an amazing thing to see on social media when it comes to adding another layer of the story than what we're seeing on TV. So just kind of how much fun are you having with the reactions that you've been getting on social media and just everything going on with that? Man, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I don't really get into like the social media and the comments and stuff, but everyone else tells me, man, they're just like, man, they hate you. They like don't like that you did this to your dad, and I'm like, good. <laughs> they don't need to, you know. But it's uh, it's been a lot of fun, especially being able to go out there and just uh, wreak havoc with uh, with mommy Rhea. Um, when I look at you, you know what you're wearing, especially on TV right now, I just I, I flash back to Conan, which I know you have a strong bond with. Is that kind of by design, or is this kind of worked out that way? So uh, that also organically happened. You know, I just uh, the Monday that I came back after prison. I just happened to have a flannel on, and, and I walked out there with it, and uh, the internet reactions were all NWO Conan, Filthy Animals Conan. So uh, he reached out to me, and he was like, did you do that on purpose? And I was like, honestly, no, but now I will. I was like, I didn't even realize, like, I didn't put the two together until I saw the side-by-side -side pictures, and I was like, who better than to pay homage to than my godfather Conan, you know? Um, you know, you've grown up in the business, essentially. Um, you know, you're seeing all these changes, um, the thought of maybe a McMahon not owning WWE. I mean, kind of what do you make of the ev the evolution of the company from when you were little to what you're seeing right now? Oh, man, uh, it's uh, it's definitely a, a lot, you know. I, I really don't know what's going on internally, but um, I have grown up in this, in, in this crazy business, and, uh, you know, I've posted pictures of Vince holding me when I was, you know, four years old. So it's like I've I've known everybody here since I was very very young. And uh, I don't know. I'm just uh, I'm looking forward to what the future holds, and whatever decision they make will be the right one for the company. Um, as far as you know, a lot of what I love is you know we sell you Dominic from SummerSlam and grow all the way up. You know, as fans, we've seen that. Um, what would Eddie Guerrero you think think of? the evolution of your character right now have you gotten any feedback from Vicky or Shaw like how like what what kind of feedback have you gotten from them and just what do you think he would be thinking about you right now how proud he might be honestly I don't I don't know but just uh, you bringing up his name and the, and the fam you know it's uh, it gives me goosebumps because it you know the the girl family is so special to me and uh, you know Vicky and Shaw and Sherilyn and Chavo and and uh, Eddie but like I uh, I hope I would make them proud. You know, it's uh, it's all I could I could hope for. You know, a lot of the things that I do, it's uh, it's paying homage to him. And uh, I think uh, little did did uh, eight year old Dom know that that Eddie Guerrero would have such a huge like you know like impact on me and just like everything that I do from my moves to growing out this mullet and just you know. Uh, everything that I do is, is uh, paying homage to him and how great he truly was. Yeah. And, you know, obviously being the son of Rey Mysterio and the, your family, the, your great uncle, um, you've been able to kind of find your own place within WWE while your dad's been there. Just talk about the challenges of doing that and how kind of being able to be apart from him now has kind of helped you kind of develop your identity. It's uh, It's been, it's been a, a lot of fun, you know, because it's... It's kind of crazy just being a part of this whole thing, you know, especially with the with the name that I carry. 
Um, there's a lot of pressure with it, but I feel like I thrive under this pressure. You know, I live for it because there's, there's nothing like it. So knowing that I have to go out there and perform and live up to the Mysterio name is just kind of, um, it's, it's, it's crazy, but it's, uh, I'm very blessed and very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in. Um, you know, you're on the road all the time. Uh, is there a show that you like to binge? Yeah, I actually just started Succession on HBO. Um, I just finished Entourage, and uh, I actually, I, I feel like Entourage is like, because I grew up with the same three group of friends since I was in eighth grade, so it's like, we're just, it's literally us four, and it's, it's, it's very, very hits close to home, you know, so it's really cool to watch. Um, that, I just finished Wednesday on Netflix, but uh, yeah, man, I'm all over the place. <laughs> Um, lastly, just what do you kind of see for yourself moving forward? I mean, obviously the story there is with Rey Mysterio, uh, your dad, but he's on SmackDown. So it seems like this is something that we might see later down the line, or is this like, do you want to see it like a WrestleMania match between the two of you or anything? Honestly, no, nah, I've, uh, I feel like I've handled my business with him. I've shown him that I'm the bigger man. I've shown that I can beat him up and do what I can, you know, and, uh, I'm, I'm the one with the crew running Monday Night Raw. You know, we're the ones taking over. We're the ones handling business. He doesn't have anyone by his side, so I don't think there's anything to go over and, and poke at. I think, uh, you know, like Damien said, he's done. He's washed. There's there's not much left for him, and uh, it's time for, for the new Mysterio to come in and take over. All right. Well, you heard it here first. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.